Well guys, I'm pretty sure you've seen another competition is on its way at am.co.za and that is for sublimation. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and attach that print to a frame just like this to make a canvas block mount. But we thought, how are we going to hang this up? So we came up with a really cool idea that we're going to design and 3D print something to allow it to hang up. So let's get to it. So we're here in Tinkercad and the first thing we need to do is go ahead and select our circle shape. And from here I'm just going to make sure I smoothen out the edges by making the sides all the way and then the segments as well. And then from there we're not going to bevel the edge. What we want to do is just change the thickness of this to be 4 millimeters thick. So we go ahead and change that to four millimeters because I want it nice and thick, it needs to be quite strong. And then what we're gonna do is the width of this, I'm going to change to 40 wide. And then the other way around, we're gonna change to 30. And there we go. So now that that's done, what we're gonna do is we're just going to get another shape and it's going to be a square and from here we're just going to change the size again let's go ahead and change this to four, four mils and we want this 15 mils wide from there we're going to go ahead and just rotate it in the right direction now that we've gone ahead and done that we can now move it over our design and it doesn't have to be perfectly in the center but now let's talk about height Height, I also want it at 15 mils. That means it's going to be sticking out 11 mils because we have really got a four mil thickness on our base. So now that that's done, we can just go ahead and select the two shapes and we go ahead to our align tool and then we just align it in the middle. And once that's done, we can go ahead and select that whole bunch and we're gonna go ahead and group it so that it's one object. Once that's gone ahead and changed to one color and grouped, we can now go ahead to the export tab on the top right and click STL. And from there, we need to just export this and put it into our 3D printing software. And let's go to that software. Now that I've imported the design, we can just go ahead and select it. And we're just gonna zoom in and quickly just have a look and see that everything is fine. Everything looks good. Now all we need to do is go ahead and right click on that design and we need to click multiple selected. Now I'm just going to go ahead and print 10 of them for now just to check that my bed is level. Otherwise if you want to you can say fill the whole bed and do as many as copies as you want and just push OK. Once that's done you'll probably notice that the first one that you had is probably inside another one. So what I mean by that is these two are touching and that's not something you want. So we're gonna deselect it. We're gonna then right click on it and we're going to say select all models, right click again and we're gonna say arrange all models. And now that's going to move it so that none of them are actually touching. Now all we need to do is go ahead and push slice and once that's done, we can export it to a memory stick, plug it into our K8 printer and start printing. All right guys, we've gone ahead and printed a sample prototype and I'm very happy with it. Now basically this is just going to go ahead and be put right here and then it will hang up the canvas frame. 
Now, depending on whether or not you've got a landscape or portrait, you'll need one on either side. Now that we're happy with our prototype, I'm gonna go ahead in the meantime and mass print a bulk amount of these. And this is a very good time to tell you that you need to start entering in this competition right now, because this is going to be a really cool one. AI may eventually take over, but what's for certain is that smart machines are already operating all over the world right now. So stay ahead with am.co.za. For 11 years, they've been the leader in CNC and printing machines like CNC routers, large format printers, vinyl cutters, laser cutters, plasma cutters, DTF printers, and many more. Visit am.co.za showrooms in Sunny Rock, Joburg and Montague Gardens, Cape Town or WhatsApp Hi to 060-600-6000 for more. am.co.za, achievement matters.